welcome today is a very blissful phase and stage when we are in this session glimpsing for comprehension absorbing the vedic answers to the seven basic questions these seven basic questions are being raised in chapter 7 gyan vigyan yog of shrimad bhagavad gita and these seven basic questions are being answered in chapter 8 akshar brahm yog we have been face to face with the parallel coordination of the yoga disciplines of shrimad bhagavad gita and of ganita sutras we had noticed that chapter 8 akshar brahm yog is the basis base of the values of ganita sutras while the purti yog of chapter 10 of gita is the basis base of the spiritualism adhyatam vidya the seven basic questions being raised are the questions mentioned at the end of chapter 7 gyan vigyan yog and these questions are being answered in chapter 8 akshar brahm yog chapter 7 is basically bringing to focus as that the nature which sustains the creations mundane as well as subtle is of two folds the first is para prakriti ast prakriti jad prakriti mundane the second is apra prakriti jeev bhut prakriti the chetan prakriti the consciousness the subtle nature one is to be consciously parallel with this classification this division this distinction this compartmentalization this distinctive tabulation of the eight fold nature asht prakriti which is a mundane prakriti and of the jeev bhut prakriti the chetan prakriti the consciousness nature the subtle nature the shloka of four of chapter 7 is on the computer screen this shloka is preserving as that bhumi apa anal vayu kham man buddhi and ankar are the eight phases and stages or the eight steps long organization of asht prakriti and simultaneously it is also mentioned as that beyond that distinctively distinct is the apra prakriti the jeev bhuta which is sustaining this jagat of living and non living beings of mundane and subtle beings therefore the beginning for appreciation comprehension imbibing of these values and features of the disciplines of yogas as yoga nishta parallel to which is a sankhya nishta we have to have a 
conscious observation. We have to have conscious visit and we have to remain throughout conscious as to the nature which is sustaining the manifested creations is of two folds, two phases. First is eightfold prakriti, eightfold nature, first prakriti, which is of phases and stages of bhumi, apa, anil, vayu, kham, man, buddhi, and angkor. These eight formulations are of TC values as are tabulated in row second and the total summation value of these all eight formulations of eight phases and stages of first prakriti make 142, which is 71 plus 71. And it is here where we will be conscious as to how the linear progression of linear order three space of seven geometries is going to be of repeated frequency to have a transition from the linear order to the spatial order. The scriptural enlistment of the seven basic questions which remain unanswered because of linear progression making Gyan Vigyan you are as are being given in the computer screen Kim Tad Brahm, Kim Adhyatam, Kim Karm, Kim Adibhutam, Kim Adidev, Kim Adi Yagya, Kohu Atra Dehi Asman Madhu Sudan. Now, the seven basic questions are about Brahm, Adhyatam Vidya, Karm, Adibhut, Adidev, and Adi Yagya. Now, these seven basic questions which remain unanswered because of linear progression bring to focus as that for answer to these unanswered questions, we have to transit from the linear order of three space setup to the spatial order of the creators of space. The Vedic system as chapter eight of Shirmad Bhagavad Gita, the Akshar Brahm Yoga, it clearly brings to focus that our focus is to shift from Varan letters to syllables. We have to shift from Gyan Vigyan to Brahm. We have to shift from first perfect number six, Surya Ankh, to the second perfect number 28, the Brahman number. Six is the first perfect number, 28 is the second perfect number. Therefore, the sadhakas are fulfilled with intensity of arch to be parallel with Vedic systems have to melt their mental conditioning because of the linear order progression which has a limit to take up till only first perfect number and the proper steps for it will going to be that one should adopt the meditation technique, the values of which are given in chapter six, Atam Sanyam Yoga. Now, the transition from the linear order to the spatial order is the demand, is the prerequisite, is the foundation, is the basis 
for answers to the seven unanswered questions of linear order. Gyan Vigyan Yoga has its limit which in terms of linear progression will make a space for seven unanswered questions. To have an answer for these seven questions, we have to transit and then parallel with the reach of chapter 8, Akshar Brahma Yoga of Srimad Bhagavad Gita, the Vedanta Trai, the essence of Vedanta, the essence of the Vedic values. And these answers for the pointed questions come to be as is the tabulation on the computer screen. The first question is Kim Brahm. What is Brahm? The answer is Akshar. Kim Adhyatam. The answer is Saubhav. Kim Karm. The answer is Visarga. Bhut Bhav Udbhavkaro. Visarga Tyaga. Kim Adibhut. It is Khir Bhava. That which vanishes which has a specified period of existence whose creation has been of a finite duration of existence which is to dissolve after a particular period means each creation has its age it is adibhut then kim adidev it is Porsche. Therefore, we sadhakas have to be very specific in our distinctive comprehension as to what is Kherbhav and what is Akshya. And when we will proceed ahead, we will be reaching from Kherpurish as Bhut to Akshar Purish, to Purushottam. <coughs> so Kshar Purish to Akshar Purish is the reach here. And this Akshar Purish as well will be having next phase and stage of transcendence to be transcendental as Uttam Purish. It would be Purushottam Yoga. Then Adi Yagya. <coughs> How this existence is there within human frame, within bodies, as bhut, as dissolvable creations. How this existence phenomenon is what precisely is the distinctive feature of that what makes life within a mundane bodies? The answer is ahem. It is Shri Bhagwan. It is Lord Vishnu. It is Lord Krishna, the incarnation of Lord Vishnu. And then the last question is how one can be conscious at the phase and stage when Jeev will leave this body, Antakale, it is Samran Muttava. It is by remembering, it is by remaining conscious of the existence phenomenon being because of the ultimate source. Therefore, we sadhkas at this phase and stage when we are conscious about the unanswered 
questions of gyan vigyan yog of chapter 7 and when further our urge is to glimpse in bible and to absorb the answers of akshar brahm yog we have to be fully inward transcending process set up our intelligence is to have inward direction it is going to be a transition from jad prakriti from mundane nature to chetan prakriti to the consciousness phase and stage we have to provide consciousness base to intelligence chetan aadhar the chetan padarth the consciousness content is distinct than that of the mundane content the consciousness content is of the features and values to be comprehended only by the consciousness the intelligence in itself has its big limitations these limitations are parallel with the questions which remain unanswered because of the gyan vigyan yog the consciousness is jeev bhuta the jeev as bhut is having its role having its role to play and it is the role of the consciousness it is the consciousness base of the intelligence as such we have to revisit as that the prithvi apa agni vayu akash as panchbhut take up till surya and dhruv and the tc values of these seven steps are 100 and sustenance of it is the eighth step and it is the vishnu it is the prakriti adhyaksh this prakriti is under the superintendence of lord vishnu therefore this table of eight steps from earth to nature as is the total tc value tabulated it is 125 and it is the age of shri krishna now this age in mundane units is going to be like the life scans life spans of human beings however this as transcendental units is of yuga units therefore to have transition from the linear processing mathematics to spatial and solid processing mathematics we have to revisit as to the way there happens a twofold transcendence within creators of space for space presided by lord brahma lord brahma creator the supreme meditates with the cavity of his own heart at the seat of the transcendental lord shiv five head lord 
and it is with the grace of the transcendental lord that lord brahma multiplies as 10 brahmas it is this transition it is this transformation which is to be chased to be followed and for it we have to be parallel with the spatial order of the creators of space this spatial order is of the values as that it splits the orientations it makes interval as a setup of a pair of orientations it makes surface as a setup of pair of faces it makes a three dimensional frame as a synthetic setup of a pair of three dimensional frames of half dimensions as such within creators of space with transcendental origin five space as origin of four space makes the transcendence within creators of space of five steps flow and it is this five steps flow which within four space presided by lord brahma with formulation brahma of this value 29 takes downward transcendence beginning with 29 as of values range 29 28 27 26 and 25 the reverse orientation naturally is going to be of upward transcendence and it will be of values steps 25 26 27 28 and 29 on the computer screen or the pair of tabulation the first is of the downward transcendence and second is of upward transcendence it is the upward transcendence which deserves to be distinctively glimpsed from that of the steps of the downward transcendence the upward transcendence is going from prithvi to apa prakriti prakriti and from there we have to reach the agni aksha then to vayu tej and ultimately to akash shivalya it is this phase and stage of transition from downward transcendence to upward transcendence which deserves to be comprehended well one shall sit comfortably and to permit the transcending mind to continuously remain in prolonged sitting of trance and to sequentially glimpse imbibe fully these five upward transcendence steps beginning of which is as prithvi and then from here the reach is to be up till apa prakriti step ahead the reach will be at agni aksha step further ahead it will be vayu tej and finally it is going to be akash shivalya see these five steps downward transcendence as well as of upward transcendence is of 135 units this pair of orientations reach of 135 steps in towards each orientation makes in all the value of both ways steps being 270 it is 27 multiplied by 10 
it is the value of transcendence within creative boundary components of the transcendental domain the transcendental domain hypercube of 5 is five space domain enveloped within a creative boundary of 10 components so each of the creative component as four space body with five space as the origin and having a value 27 contribution for the transcendence phenomenon of both orientations is the reach which deserves to be fully absorbed one shall sit comfortably and to permit the mind to fully absorb these 10 steps five of which are of downward transcendence and another five are of upward transcendence this exhaustive coverage of both downward and upward transcendence in 10 steps is parallel with the transition and transformation of lord brahma as 10 brahmas it is in this background that we have to revisit jeeva bhut the chetan prakriti is sustaining jeeva bhut and the formulation jeeva bhut is of tcv value 16 plus 19 is equal to 35 and this jeeva bhut sharir yatra as a panchma bhut reach from prithvi to dhruv makes a pilgrimage of 35 plus 100 is equal to 135 steps therefore the one way of transcendence value is 135 so both ways will be of 270 the birth rebirth cycle is being of these values and steps sadkas are fulfilled with intensity of urge to be parallel with vedic systems shall sit comfortably and to permit the transcending mind to be parallel with these organization steps of asht prakriti eight fold mundane nature and of chetan prakriti jeev bhut parbhava parle vidhi vidhan prakriti and it is with this that one will be face to face with the vedic mathematics one shall sit comfortably and to have sequential chase of transition from linear order to spatial order and further from spatial order to solid order on the computer screen are 11 figures in terms of these 11 figures attempt is being made to phase out this transition phenomenon this transition phenomenon is of two phases firstly from linear order to spatial order and then from spatial order to solid order figure 1 is just depiction of a three dimensional frame of three linear axes figure 2 is a step ahead of a three dimensional frame of triple spatial dimension and figure 3 is an attempt to depict the three dimensional frame 
of three solar dimensions. One may have a pause here and take note that as four space plays the role of origin of three space, as such, the spatial order of the creators of space as origin is synthesizing three dimensional frame as a setup of a pair of three dimensional frames of half dimensions. One should have a pause here. One should permit the mind to continuously remain in trance to comprehend and imbibe this role of the creators of space as origin of a three dimensional frame. The origin of a three dimensional frame being of a spatial order, the same firstly synthesizes the three dimensional frame as a setup of a pair of three dimensional frames of half dimensions. And further, it also as a creative seal keeps this synthetic setup as an integrated setup. Now, spatial order be of nature as its axis be of its surface, two space, plane, square, and the split of a square into quadruple quarter squares is the feature which deserves to be comprehended well to have proper appreciation of the transition from a linear order, line as axis, to spatial order, plane as an axis. Plane is a surface bounded within quadruple boundary lines. Plane reorganizes itself as a synthetic setup of quadruple quarter squares. Now, figure five and figure six are just depictions for such surfaces as a plane surfaces and as a vertical surface. Now, three space being the origin of two space, as such, these quadruple quarter squares will have quadruple solids at the seat of their origins. Now, the surface itself is of a pair of faces. So when these pair of faces split, then the space in between is the space which will accommodate solid. Let us revisit the figures eight, nine, and 10. These three figures are sequentially depicting as to how the split of a surface into a pair of faces and then each face again being of quadruple quarter squares with solid origins. Then the space in between the pair of faces is going to be a space accommodating the solid. These features further will bring us face to face with as to how in the process the linear axis transforms into a solid axis and further the split of a three-dimensional frame into a pair of three-dimensional frames because of the spatial order of the origin of a three space, it will bring to focus the synthetic setup of pair of three-dimensional frames, in fact, will become a synthetic setup of pair of three-dimensional frames of solid dimensions.
one shall sit comfortably and to permit the transcending mind to be parallel with it. Now, at the origin seat of creators in space, at this transcendental origin seat, at the solid order origin seat, this split of three-dimensional frame into a pair of three-dimensional frames and each of these components, again, being of a solid dimensions, it will make a value 27 for this one component of the solid dimension. And further, the transcendental domain itself will split into Northern Hemisphere and Southern Affairs sphere for its outer fold, while its inner fold is to remain intact. And this split of the outer fold for the Northern Hemisphere as of value 17, which 27 multiplied by 17 will make the value 519, which is parallel with the total text letters of Gadita Sutras 1 to 16. Let us have a pause. Let us revisit this internal organization. Let us chase this transition. Let us be parallel with this phenomenon of transition and the ultimate reach at the total letters of the text of 16 Ganita Sutras with value 16 in parallel with the value of the dimensional frame of the creator space of quadruple spatial dimensions. Let us sit comfortably. Let us be parallel with this reach of the Vedic mathematics. Let us visit Gita answers to seven basic questions of Gyan Vigyan Jyo and be parallel with Ashta Prakriti, eightfold mundane nature and Jeeva Bhut sustaining Chetan consciousness nature. This sustenance source of Panchma Bhut, Aptal Surya and Dhruv, Sun and Pole Star has six space body and seven space origin is Ashta Prakriti, eightfold nature. The transition from linear order to spatial order and further from spatial order to solid order are the values of Vedic mathematics, science and technology, which deserve to be comprehended well, to be fully, to be fully imbibed for a proper insight and appropriate enlightenment urged by the sadhgas. One shall sit comfortably, remain in prolonged sitting of trance, and to glimpse and imbibe these values and features of Vedic mathematics, science, and technology. It is a blissful chase. It is a blissful phase. It is a blissful stay for proper takeoff to remain connected with the ultimate source, now Brahm, as origin of Ashta Prakriti. Thank you very much.